Hey creatives, Liz from the Laser Outpost here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a shortcut that I use when I test full wrap files on tumblers. This not only saves me time, but it also saves me money because I'm not damaging a tumbler. So let's get started. I have this full graphic here that I'm ultimately going to engrave on a tumbler. But before I do that, I need to do some testing to make sure that my image is properly aligned on my tumbler and the seams will meet perfectly. The first thing that I do is I wrap my tumbler in blue painter's tape and I place it on my rotary. I use the Pyburn grip by Lens Digital. I like it because it's very versatile and very accurate. Once my tumbler is properly placed on my rotary and aligned, I come to my designing software. In this case, I'm using Lightburn. I will then take my image right here and duplicate it. Uh-oh. I duplicate it because I don't want to make any changes to it. Now I'm going to be working on this image. I'm going to go into the rectangle tool and create a rectangle and place it on top of the part that I don't want to test engrave. In this case, I want to test engrave my seams. So I make this rectangle. There we go. Once I'm satisfied, I will select my image, select the rectangle, and go into the Boolean, subtract one shape from another, and do that. Now I have left the seams. All I have left is the seams that I want to test engrave. I will send this file to the laser to engrave, and I will need to engrave this image at low power on top of the tape. This shortcut will save you so much time and a tumbler because instead of running this test image, which is long and takes a long time to engrave, about 20 minutes, I would only be testing the parts that I need. Creatives, I hope this tip was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.